Okay, welcome. We are talking about percent composition today. Percent composition. So, um, first of all, percent composition is on our reference tables. So let's go to where all the formulas are, table T. Here we are. We are here at percent composition. So the formula is on table T. Mass of part over mass of whole times 100. So we have that. So back to the notes. Percent composition is the composition of a substance as a percentage of each element compared to the total. Remember how we just said it's mass of part over mass of whole times 100? So there you go. Oh, look. There it is. All right. So your mass of part over mass of whole. You can also have a percent composition using lab data, where we wouldn't use percentage of each element in a compound. You just look for, you know, befores and afters. So there's that. So here is an example in which we are not given any lab data. We're given simple formulas. What percent of the mass of potassium chromate is from chromium? So potassium chromate is K2CrO4. And we're looking for the chromium part. So the part is chromium. The whole is the whole GFM. Whoops. It's not zero. It's O4. That looks like a V. Oh, well. All right, now let's go to our periodic table. Let's look for the mass of chromium. Chromium is 52. So that means, of course, that 52 is part of the whole. We have two potassium, so that's 39 times 2. So that's 78. And then we have the 52 from the chromium. And then oxygen is 4. So 4 times 16 is 64. So 52 plus 78 plus 64. So the whole thing is 194, part over whole. But remember, this is a percent, so you have to multiply by 100. That is not implied. You absolutely have to include that. So on the regions, if you only had 52 over 194 as a fraction and you didn't multiply by 100, we could not give you full credit because you know that is part of the formula. 52 divided by 194 times 100 gives me 26.8% chromium. If I wanted to figure out what percent of this is potassium, then I would do, let me see, I'll do it here. That would be a 78 over 194 times 100. And if I wanted to figure out the oxygen, that would be my 64 over 194 times 100. And all of these percentages should add up to 100. If they don't quite add up to 100, maybe they're a little bit above, a little bit below, that's part of the rounding. But if you get something like, you know, 150, that's an error. But if you got maybe 100.1, or 101 even. That's probably a rounding error. Here's a way that you could have uh, lab data come involved, and you wouldn't necessarily need uh, GFMs. So the total mass of a compound containing oxygen and magnesium is 13.60 grams. Oxygen makes up 5.40 grams, but percent is the mass of the mass is from magnesium. There are a couple ways to do this. So what I could do at first is I could do, that's my total, and this is oxygen. So 0, 2, 8. So this is from magnesium. And I could do part over whole times 100. So 8.20, hold on a second, divided by 13.60 times 100 is 60.3% magnesium. You could do that. Or what you could do is you could say oxygen is 5.40 out of the 13.60 times 100. So 5.4 divided by 13.60 times 100 gives me 39.7%, and then you could do 100 minus 39.7. And you get 60.3. So 
So either way is fine. You can either subtract and get that, or you can just subtract from 100 at the end. Either way is fine. So if they don't give you lab data, for example, they only give you formulas, you have to use GFMs, which is gram formula mass from periodic table. If they do give you lab data, you need to use it. Okay? All right. Thank you for watching.